even though it's 9 o'clock, 9.19, Sebastian is asleep, Hooray! He needs it, he's all snotty, I don't know, just more allergies or cold germs, who knows, comes and goes with him. I just need to protect myself because my period just started and I catch every dang thing when I have my period, so I was wearing this in there while he fell asleep. But hi, I didn't really feel much because I ran errands and then I got home and my work was ready, well, half of it, so yeah. But anyway, if you saw the cutest little firefighter, that was Sebastian. It was dressed for a future career day and one of the things he says he wants to do is be a volunteer firefighter with other jobs as well. So he can buy every bionicle set there is. <laughs> He's so cute. I am picky when it comes to purchased costumes, so it did take me a solid hour of looking on Amazon a couple days ago when he decided he wanted to dress up. I had very strict guidelines. It had to be actual colors of firefighter uniforms around here, which are either black or the tan with the, the glow safety strips, not red. There's so many red ones. It needed to not be shiny, weird material, no nylon. Polyester is fine, it's going to be polyester, but it needed to be like woven, or woven looking, and it was, so that was great. And the hat, I wanted it to be adjustable because everybody was complaining that they were either too big or too small. So this one ticked all the boxes. It was $30, free two day shipping, made it there in time. Perfect pants a little long but with shoes it was fine and he's got room to grow and I love it. A lot of them had the measurements and the sleeves are only 13 inches long which would have been way too short for him so I guess that was one other thing I was looking for. I wanted one with sizes so this is a 6-7. Anyway he wore it. He was one of the few people dressed up. There were some but people didn't get into it. I don't know why. But he was adorable and everybody loved it and he loved it so that's what matters I think tomorrow they're wrapping up their career themed spirit week and they're supposed to dress for retirement <laughs> I was like I don't know you can throw your bathrobe on over your clothes <laughs> mm -hmm. but got him onto the bus and then got Jacks up and ready and drove him to school and even when the period started and I was super crampy. What's going on? How does he slam doors so hard? And awake Sebastian. I had I decided to run errands that I've been putting off even though the period's here. It's not that bad on the first day. I was just in a lot of pain and I'm nauseous, but it's okay otherwise it takes a day <laughs> for it to get really bad but i needed to buy underwear desperately i just really i keep putting it off the last time i bought underwear was 2020 when you weren't even allowed to touch things they had a sticky nap to suck the germs off your feet and everybody was in masks and sanitizing and checking your temperature and stuff so yeah the, all the waistbands with lace are ripping for me pulling them up and washing them. <laughs> I was like, I need laundries. But I do really like Aries brand, so I was waiting for a sale. Didn't happen. Six for 30 is fine. It, they're still, they're five dollars each. I can do. That's a good price. So I planned on that, but they didn't open till 10. I dropped Jack's off and I'm finished with that at 8.45. I didn't want to go home and turn around. So I headed off to Target to purchase some prizes for Sebastian and girl supplies and just look around and just waste time until about, I was planning till 9.45. So I probably got there at 9. It takes a while to get there. Target's not super close, it's not super far, but yeah, I ended up getting a little bundle pack. So I had a few booster packs, which I opened to put in my stash. I did get a 
full hollow fancy trainer gallery card so that was the best one I got but it came with this I was supposed to look at the type where's the type yeah. oh he's it's an EX he's gonna be excited about that hmm I don't know what the type is on this one Mira Miradon I'm gonna have to look it up because like it doesn't say a type. But it's an EX. He doesn't have an EX. Anyway, so yeah, I got that bundle and I'm pulling it apart to be prizes. And I am um, I also got one of those booster packs that come with the mini portfolio because I was only $4.99. They were pretty cleaned out in the Pokemon. They didn't have any just plain booster packs. But that gives me some more prizes. He's very motivated by prizes. And it turns out, like, I, I've gone back and forth with his teacher a lot on what we can do to motivate him. And she has tickets that they earn, I think, for helping each other and just being good classmates. And then they can turn them in for prizes, such as stuffed animal day or lunch with the teacher or little plastic trinkets. But he told me he's been earning them for finishing his must-dos, these worksheets that he absolutely has to do, and he doesn't do, <laughs> but gets sent home. But yeah, he finished three of them today and earned tickets, so he had another good day. So yeah, I did that. I was really getting hungry, and I decided to hold out till I got to the mall. I did have to waste some time in my car. I opened up all the Pokemon stuff because it was still like 15 minutes till everything opened. Well, not everything, till anything opened. A lot of things don't open till 11, which is annoying. And I went in and got Cinnabon. They didn't have much cooked. I don't like their cinnamon rolls. They're too soupy and sticky. So I got the center of the roll, but next time I need to say no cinnamon syrup or less. I couldn't eat it all. It was too sickly sweet. Even without the icing. I said no icing. But it was still good to get food in me and some coffee. Give everything some time to open. Everything that I needed to go to. I went to Bath and Body Works because I had one of those coupons they mail you where you get a free full size thing and then they're like the 20% off. And Danny was just talking about how he loves fancy hand soap and we were at that party and he complimented her on her fancy hand soap and he's like, well, we get the, the cheap stuff because, you know, it's expensive. So I, their hand soap was on sale for half price, still $3.50, which is not what I normally would spend on hand soap. But yeah, I chose a beachy one for a beach bathroom and put it in there so to surprise him. And he noticed he came out and was like, thanks for this sort of fancy hand soap. I'm like, his friends have fancy hand soap, like $20 hand soap. This is normally like $7.50 hand soap. And I, and I paid like three something. But yeah, I got that. And then I got my free thing, which I always get this nice glass bottle of aromatherapy lotion. I just I love it. And it's 15.50, so it's like at the max of the coupon. And then I got five more sanitizer minis because they still don't do their sanitizer in the big pumps. So I've been using my little skeleton dude, and it's just always running out. So all of that was only 9.50. That was nice. Oh, this is gonna make my video way longer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going slow. And then I got my underwear. I don't know how it fits. I need to wash it, but right now I'm in period underwear anyway. Yay. So I have a couple days to wash that. I need to wash the rest of my period underwear, so maybe it's all gonna get washed tomorrow. Then did I go in anywhere else? No, I don't think so. That's all I had when I left. I just wanted to go home. Didn't feel good. I needed a bathroom break. I had to use the bathroom there. Headed home. I was hungry again, sort of. Hungry and queasy. The gardeners got there right after I let the dog out to potty where he made two poos and they're doing the mulch so they were just evaluating everything how many bags of mulch they would need and our whole side yard for the dog is mulched so I put the dog back in and I get some poo bags and I come out and I'm like hi guys I'm gonna pick up the doo-doo <laughs> and they looked really so they didn't have to bury the doo-doos under the mulch 
pick those up and then they gardened and they did not remove my mom's they did mulch over them but the little sprouts i'm starting to see should push through i think we're gonna get some rain tomorrow which will be nice for the mums because they just cut them down and even with them not cut down they were trying to sprout three of them were trying to sprout so we'll see how that goes and that wholesome little video of one of the gardeners like delicately arranging my puppy statue and, and the little stepping stone of Benny's paw prints and all the painted rocks that have survived. And they don't always survive because that turns into a lake and the paint gets washed off. But oh, that warmed my heart. I noticed it later when we were coming back with Sebastian from school. I'm like, somebody arranged my rocks. <laughs> They're always washed out, so they look so nice. But as soon as I settled down, at my computer i saw that while i was driving home a bunch of my work came in so i was doing that i had three labels to change the layout of and one new label where i needed to edit some ai art and put the title on text and stuff so the three were done and approved and then the new one i sent two drafts and I'm just gonna wait to hear for that. There was a very long list, so I'm sure there's more, but I was just working, I didn't film it. I was also keeping the dog from barking at the gardeners. Oh, we sound so fancy, <laughs> the gardeners. It's just the lawn mowers, and then we pay for like a twice yearly. We pay so much. It costs so much for the mulch service, hundreds of dollars, but twice yearly we pay for that because the one year that Danny and I did it, it was a nightmare. <laughs> It was so exhausting trying to get all those mulch bags back to all the mulch beds that people, the past owners, put in in the back. And I just remember after three or four bags, I could barely lift them. It was suck. I hated it. I just got like an Instagram alert. Somebody wants to send me a message. I don't even use Instagram. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so we pay for that and those guys work they work they, even with it being like a team of six or seven of them it still took them quite a while so it's money well spent but yeah they did that and i worked and kept the piggy quiet and i finished right before i needed to go get sebastian if i was walking so he had his first club day he did not ride the bus home so it was 3.30 we needed to be there. And yeah, so what happens is you just walk up and then signs on the door so the door's unlocked. Go to your child's club location, which was the library for us. And a teacher came out and said, so we're gonna do this a little different. There's parents like waiting in the lobby. We're gonna have you go in and get your child. So we make sure they leave with a child instead of like sending them out to us and kids standing there waiting for parents. So I don't know if that's how they used to do the surfers club. So I went in there to find my little firefighter and he had a great time doing his first coding. I guess they used Play-Doh and alligator clips and a thing called Makey Makey to control their computer with Play-Doh. So that's fun. So Danny had come with me, we brought Ziggy, he waited outside and then we all walked home together. And Jax arrived home not too long after that, and we walked to Sebastian's friend's house to drop off the chocolate she bought. And his friend apparently at recess got hit by a soccer ball and might have a concussion. So I don't know what's up with all the head injuries, but I really hope he's okay. And yeah, I came home. I was gonna make soup, but nobody wanted soup. I didn't want soup. I just wanted a salad because I'm so barfy. So we ordered from our favorite little Italian. It's like one of those pizza subs and everything. So it's actually, I was shocked at the prices when I was looking at the menu because I wasn't getting pasta for once. Like they don't raise their DoorDash prices. Everybody always adds a few dollars to everything on DoorDash. So I was surprised. But I had salad and some fries. <laughs> they weren't greasy, so it's good. They were like waffle fries and didn't film it, but that was good. And then I took a bath, didn't film it. It was very, very crampy. 
I don't like taking baths during my period, but I needed that. And then, yeah, I told Sebastian three of the prizes that I had and let him choose which one he wanted first. I didn't say any details about them, but he chose the portfolio. Holy moly, this is long. He chose the mini portfolio in the pack, and he did get a good card. He got a golden super rare trainer item. Like, I think it's leafy camo poncho, and it's so gold and sparkly. So he's very excited. He likes the gold sparkly cards. And uh, I started editing after he fell asleep, and I realized I hadn't talked to you. So here I am talking to you. I need to decide what color hair I'm going to have for California because that is in a month even though we don't have plane tickets so towards the end of march i need to change the hires but yeah let me know if you have any ideas i'm gonna let you go because i need to go good night stay safe be kind and don't forget wash your hands